Well, a grocery game changer. Amazon is set to disrupt the supermarket industry with its own brick and mortar stores. Supermarketguru.com editor Phil Lempert says shoppers have more choices and this should be a wake up call. Good to see you, Phil. So first of all, this is very different uh, from what they do with Whole Foods, right? Absolutely. Um, what I really think, David, is what we're going to see is we're going to see Amazon stores. As Christina just said, you know, Target increased their in-store traffic by 5 percent. That's significant. And what we're finding is millennials and Generation Z, they want those retail experiences in-store. So mm -hmm. I think that what we're going to see from Amazon, not just a grocery store, I think we're going to see like a mini Target. If you look at their leases, as reported by uh, Heather Haddon in The Wall Street Journal, what they're saying is they're not specifying that it's a grocery store, that they can have health and beauty aid, right. they can have electronics in there, they can have clothing. So I really think Amazon is going to create a fabulous retail experience. Well, what? let's talk about what Amazon is, because it, it's not exactly a technology company. It's, it's a supply chain company. They have, because of the genius of Jeff Bezos, they have figured out a way with their supply chain to bring stuff to people that had never been possible before and at prices that had never been possible before. Does that supply chain model that they've revolutionized work in the grocery business? I think it does, David. But also, if we look at last week, um, Statista um, reported that 26.5 percent of net sales of Amazon is going to logistics, fulfillment and delivery. That's not sustainable when you have that kind of percentage going into that. So what Amazon wants to do is they want to get stores. They want to get brick and mortar. And again, we're seeing a return from a lot of consumers wanting to get into stores, especially when it comes to grocery. They want to look at their fruit. Right. They want to pick their meat because a lot of the delivery services are frankly not doing a great but job. But Phil, here's a, here's a problem that they got to deal with. They haven't been doing so well with Whole Foods. There are a lot of customer complaints now that they didn't have before. Uh, John Mackey, the guy who started Whole Foods, set it up with this terrific relationship with the employees where they were essentially every employee was a manager. They had responsibility. Uh, they had terrific bonuses related to their, their success. Some of that has gone by the wayside and a lot of customers are complaining about it. Are they are they addressing that in any way? They are, but keep in mind the people that are complaining are the ex Whole Food shoppers um, that wanted it the old way, that really left uh, once Amazon took over. And also keep in mind that what Amazon wants to do with Whole Foods is expand the marketplace, have more people come in that have never been to a Whole Foods before. They have lowered prices, they have done some things. And let's not forget that the reason that Amazon was able to buy Whole Foods is that it was broken, uh, that, that it just wasn't working. They didn't have any data. Um, their customer count, while it was good, they weren't making the kind of money that they should have. Hmm. Yeah, and that's when Jeff Bezos came in, and we'll see what happens. Phil, great to see you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.